The Sony ZV-E10 is one of the best cameras you can buy as a content creator, especially if you are just starting out. It's incredible for shooting YouTube videos like this, because I'm using it right now, or you can use it to shoot vlogs, you can use it to live stream, do photos, shoot slow motion. So that's why in this video, I'll be sharing test footage of the Sony ZV-E10 in a variety of different situations that you may find yourself using it. So let's get into it. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up? It's Omar Takori with Think Media, helping you build your influence with online video and on this channel sometimes we talk YouTube strategy tips to help build your subscribers or your business around your YouTube channel also we talk about the best tools like cameras mics and lighting to help build your YouTube channel so that's why we are talking about this camera today and if you're interested in any of those things make sure to hit that subscribe button well I'm so pumped about the Sony ZV-E10 I really do think it's the perfect creators camera I'm actually shooting on it right now and straight out of camera it looks really good I got the Sigma 16 millimeter on this this camera for this shot in particular. But the first sequence of tests will be in a vlog format. I actually took this camera right when it came in the mail on a family trip. And so you can imagine taking a camera like this on a trip yourself if you're travel vlogging or you just wanna vlog your day or what have you. Let me tell you, this is a super easy camera to use for something like that. Simply putting it in intelligent auto really allows you to focus on shooting the content and really shooting video in this mode, even photos in this mode, make it super easy to create content because it's doing all the work for you. So all you're seeing here is 4K footage at 24 frames per second, straight out of camera. Again, no color correcting, no nothing. This is just the colors that come straight out of the camera and I really do think Sony does a great job with their color science as of late. I really do like how the skin tones look. I like how they interpret the sky and just the general uh, color science of this camera is incredible. So you don't have to worry about color grading and things like that. And I would even say, if you're buying this camera, you should just shoot straight out of camera and it'll be awesome for you. Now I definitely used the kit lens to get a lot of these shots and I really wanted to see how good this camera would hold if you just bought the kit lens with the camera and if you can just create content that way. And I think it was awesome. There was some times where I did swap over into my Sony 10 to 18 lens and also a, a Tamron 11 millimeter lens, which is just a super wide shot. And so anytime you can see the shot being super wide, I'm using a super wide lens, which I think if you are gonna vlog with this, you could totally get away with the kit lens, but I would look into investing into a wide lens like what you see here. Kind of really gives you that super vloggy YouTuber look. Now, as you see this footage, I'd like to know down below what you think of it. I think it looks so good straight out of the camera. I love that you don't have to worry about any of the settings or things like that. And so when I just handed it over to my wife, she was just able to film whatever she was pointing the camera at, which I think is super nice. And so that is how the camera looks when you're vlogging. And the reality of vlogging is sometimes you're in the bright areas, sometimes you're in dark areas. The way it just handles the change of scenarios is really good, even if it is in the 1000 or 2000 range of ISO. So those were some vlog tests of the Sony ZV-E10 and uh, you know, really putting it on intelligent auto and letting it do its thing is such an easy way to use this out vlogging. That's what I'm doing right now. And you're actually listening to the onboard mic uh, without a, you know, a mic plugged into the camera. So this is how it sounds. It's a little bit windy, got some waterfall action in the back, a little dad bod action happening in front of you, weird. Okay, anyway, what's so cool about this camera is that there's essentially three modes that they give you with a push of a button. There's the video mode, the photo mode, and S and Q mode. S and Q, simply put, is just slow motion mode for the camera. You just put it in this mode, literally shoot whatever video, and it's gonna play back in smooth slow motion, which is super cool for a lot of creators that know they just need slow-mo. You don't have to do anything in post. However, the downside of shooting this way is you don't have any audio, but it's all good because if you're doing fun stuff, you can get really cool looking stuff. So let's jump into some tests of SNQ mode. Now the second use and scenario I wanna talk about is just YouTube videos. And I've shot a few YouTube videos on this camera, again, just straight out of camera. And this shot that you see right here is literally the kit lens. And I uploaded this video a couple weeks back on the channel and I think it looked amazing. I love being able to just edit without having to worry about color grading all the time. Sometimes I do like to do it, but if I'm just shooting straight up talking head stuff, especially screen sharing uh, with a video like this one, then this really is an awesome camera. And I really love the fact that it doesn't have any record limit. And so I was able to just shoot my entire YouTube talking head without having to worry about stopping and starting recording, which is really nice. 
But I love this camera for YouTube videos and just content creation in general. Uh, one thing that's super cool about this camera is that you can just plug it in USB into a computer and literally use it as a webcam without any special software or hardware, just a USB cable, which I think is super awesome and makes it another reason why I think someone should invest in a camera like this if you're getting into creating content. Also, if you do trainings or maybe speak on stages or you're in church or something like that, this camera does hold up. I was able to film uh, Sean do a talk here in town I had a 70 to 200 millimeter lens and the autofocus even from this distance was incredible. And really the autofocus generally speaking out of this camera is very trustworthy and you never have to worry about not being in focus. But you can see it looks really good. And honestly, I think you'd be really surprised that a little camera like this was able to capture that good of video in that scenario. And so those are various scenarios that 100% that this camera is for. Now the next portion of tests is all about stabilization. And I think it's really important that if you plan on vlogging with this camera or doing movement type shots with this camera, that you want stabilization. However, this camera doesn't have IBIS or in-body image stabilization like the Sony a6600 does, but it's almost like half the price, so that's okay. However, it does have active steady shot, which is just a mode that you can turn on and then you'll end up getting smooth footage from there. And I do think that this is a pro and a con of the camera. A con being is that it does crop in when you turn on active steady shot. I think a lot, like maybe 10% it crops in your shot. So if you're shooting, you know, at 16 millimeters like this and you crop in, you get a shot like this. Like I literally just turn on active steady shot and you can see how much of a crop it actually added to the camera. However, I do think this is a pro still because you can now crop in a shot and get more resolution out of a tighter shot. I was filming this elephant, we were at the San Diego Zoo and I was fairly far away, but as I zoomed in and then turned on steady shot, it really got me a nice tighter shot of that elephant, which I think could come clutch in so many different situations. And I think if you plan on vlogging, you're gonna want to do kind of two different things. Number one is you are gonna wanna shoot an active steady shot, but number two is you probably wanna get a super wide lens like the Sony 10 to 18 lens, because not only does it actually have optical steady shot in the lens, which is just a technology that makes the lens more stable, but at 10 millimeters, you're gonna get a little bit more of a wider shot still, even with the crop. And so all that to say, I think the stabilization is a cool feature. I don't think it's the best when you're using it with super long lenses. You can actually start seeing that you actually have a feature like this on if you're shooting from a distance. But uh, for the most part, I think it's a good feature to have and just to know that if you are shooting talking head YouTube videos on a tripod like this, then you're good to not even have to use it but you can also keep it on standard, which is just a level two stabilization, but it's not that much noticeable, but it's better than it being off. Now, typically at the end of a video like this, I would tell people who this camera is for, and I would just be straight up and honest and say that this camera is for everyone. This camera is for the mom that just wanna take cool pictures of their kids and vlog uh, their family vacation. Uh, it's also for the content creator who wants to get pretty serious at creating content because the 4K quality is super awesome. And if you're gonna live stream, you can do that as well. But this video was simply just to show you some test footage straight out of camera to see what you would be getting. Like this isn't just because I know how to use a camera. This was literally turn on the camera, hit record, and this is kind of what you're gonna be getting. And so all that to say, let me know what you think of the footage down in the comments below. And if you wanna see a full playlist of this camera, if you wanted to learn how to use it, the actual in-depth review that we'll do, and also our camera comparisons as we stack this against other cameras that people are buying that are very similar to this, then click or tap the screen. And I can't wait to see you in a future video. Peace.